Hi, Mr. Roses. I teach uh, AP Physics 1, AP Physics 2, IB Physics, regular physics, and then uh, I have another class. It's migrant support class. So I'm really busy, and I like staying busy. Um, you know, <clears throat> when I was in high school, I enjoyed doing math because I thought it was, was fun doing math. It was challenging, and it kept me busy, kept me out of trouble. And then I took physics, and I love reading about nature and how the world works, how everything that is around us works. And, uh, and so I grew up passion for physics. I went to college, got my degree in math, but I always took physics, and I'm, I'm happy to be teaching physics. So I hope I can... I can convey that while I'm teaching this class. It is a challenging course, I guarantee you, but it's quite rewarding. Now, unfortunately, the first year, AP Physics 1, we build the foundation. So uh, <clears throat> there is a lot of math. It almost feels like an applied math class. Let me get rid of this guy. We don't need this guy on the screen. There you go. Uh, this is my syllabus. Here is my contact information, my email, and then uh, my classroom number. Uh, and if you look at any book, open any physics book that is a lot of mathematics, because uh, that's what they tell you. Uh, you need algebra and trigonometry to be able to do well in this class. Um, a lot of math competency. Uh, this is a college class. And so it is, it is very challenging. I think it's, uh, if you are going to go into the STEM field or medical school, you need AP Physics 1 and, and AP Physics 2. Um, I, I'm not going to bore you with those little details, but you know we use the uh, Physics survey 10th edition. Um, uh, the grade is the traditional grade, you know, 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to 89 is a B, and so on. I do homework every single day, so so you will be you will be doing homework every single night, and it's due the same day. However, I give you like a two day grace period, meaning what? You can still turn it in two days late, and I give you full credit. I know some of you are athletes, some of you are uh, hardworking people. A and so I know I know your business. So physics is not your only class. Uh, however, beyond that, I don't give you more time. Uh, I use a, a platform called Canvas. And Canvas, uh, I like it because it, it gives you, as soon as you do the homework, you get a grade. And so and it gives you a grade. And then you can see uh, you have an option to correct the homework. So say you get an 85% and it tells you you got question number seven, eight, and 11 wrong. So you have a chance to correct them and uh, you have a chance to ask your neighbors, um, <clears throat> compare answers, nothing wrong with that. So anyway, it is homework every day and you know your score every single day because that's the main question I ask, uh, uh, I get from parents. That's my student, that's my son know how much he got or why he got wrong, he or she. And uh, the answer is yes. <clears throat> we also have a lab, we have a lab about once a week. Uh, that, that's the, the, the goal. Uh, sometimes we have more, sometimes we have less, but you know, my aim is to have at least once, uh, one lab a week because, um, Physics is very hands-on uh, oriented. And then we have our tests and midterms. Now, I do let you retake the test, uh, only the test, uh, for a better grade, but you get the second score. Uh, and there is a reason why I do that. I, I, can, I can answer that question if you ever had that question. Uh, I'm available. <clears throat> if you ask anybody who's taking my class, I'm always there. Uh, before school, it's a little difficult for me to, to come in early. I do come in like a 7, uh, 40, and then, but I'm there during an advisory, I'm there during lunch, and I am there 
after school. So there is lots of help if you have questions. Uh, <clears throat> Spectation, I expect you to do your homework every day, uh, not to fall behind. Mm, let me see. I, I give you a lab overview as to what I need. I'm not going to bore you with that, but once you're in class, I'll explain to you why we do it the way we do it. We follow a college procedure, and uh, I'll explain to you that it, it's it's very consistent with what colleges require. Now, we cover kinematics, just like a typical uh, physics course. And then we cover dynamics, uh, you know, uh, and which is forces. Uh, Kinematics is motion, dynamics is forces, what makes things move. Then we cover circular motion, gravitation. We cover uh, work, energy, and power. That's unit four. Unit five is impulse and momentum. And then uh, simple harmonic motion. And then, then torque and rotational motion. And again, on all of this, we have a lab on, on them. Now, the college board removed waves and sound from it. So I still cover after the AP exam because we need those concepts for AP physics too. So uh, I saw it included there. Um, let, me, let me share another screen with you. And the college board put out a series of well explicit uh, objectives as to what is going to be tested in dynamics. Uh, here are the objectives. What I did is I both face some of this uh, language so that it stands out what we're going to do. For instance, the student's able to design an experiment for collecting data. So <clears throat> the AP question will ask the students, design a, an experiment to calculate the speed of a moving car, to calculate acceleration, to calculate the acceleration due to gravity. <clears throat> and they also to determine the net force is set on an object. So I follow the procedure and uh, that's what you're gonna be asked on the AP exam. And it is also part of the uh, AP curriculum. And uh, here's another one. Uh, the student is able to apply uh, Newton's second law of motion, force is equal to mass is gravity, to calculate the gravitational force of an object with mass m. And so, again, I went over every single objective and I both faced the key language uh, where you will be tested. And, and again, it's a good practice uh, to teach all of this. And uh, you're welcome to see this. I'm, I'm, I'll post both documents on the, uh, I'll put a link to it if you want to look at it. Yeah. And uh, I, I enjoy teaching physics. I enjoy doing physics. And I hope it, it's, my students can see that. Uh, unfortunately, AP Physics 1, there's a lot of math. Uh, at one time, it just feels like a math class, an applied math class. But um, quite challenging and quite enjoyable very rewarding. And, uh, it, you know, I'm not going to bore you through all of this, but I, I just went over every single objective again. Um, so make a decision. See if AP physics is for you. If not, we got regular physics or we have IV physics, depending on your goal. <clears throat> Who do I recommend this to? For people who go on into mathematics, people are going to go into physics. Uh, engineering, definitely, and medical school students. And medical school students says, why do I need physics? Well, the MCAT uh, exam has a lot of physics on it. It actually has AP Physics 1 and AP Physics 2. Or you can take the IP Physics, take both classes together. It covers uh, just about everything that is on the MCAT. Uh, Again, this is Mr. Rosas, and thanks for visiting my classroom.